All right, so here's a mental math challenge that many people will fail. So what's one third percent of 598? Now you wanna do this problem all in your head, so no calculators. But the problem seems pretty simple, right? But actually, if you think about this problem, like most percent problems, you're likely going to do this wrong. Okay, so let's see if your number sense is sharper than the average person. So if you have an answer, and again, I'm just looking for a very good estimate, go ahead and put that in the comment section. I wanna walk through and show you exactly how I would solve this problem using mental math, i.e. all this math in my brain. But before we get started, let me quickly tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching math for decades. And if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, be sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, now there is no time limit here, so if you wanna just kinda of pause the video and think about it, that's perfectly fine. Okay, so one third percent of 598. Can you do this problem in your head? This is not that difficult. Let's just kind of review how we would do this problem using a calculator. So what we're doing is we're finding the percent of a number. Uh, basically like this kind of uh, question here, 7% of 82. So how would we do this? And let's suppose we did have a calculator available. Well, what we would do is we would change this percent to a decimal, and then we would multiply by 82. So 7% as a decimal would be 0 0.07. And to go from a percent to a decimal, how do we do that? Well, we divide by 100, or we move the decimal point over two places to the left. So hopefully you understand how to find uh, the percent of a number. And that is the process, but if you're looking at this problem and you're thinking, all right, well, that's what I need to do here. I got to change this into a decimal. Now remember, this is a fraction of a uh, percent. It's not like 7%, I have one third. So I'm gonna have to think of this as a decimal or as a fraction, okay? So either way, you're going to have to uh, write this percent as a decimal or a fraction and then multiply it by 598. And doing this all in your head would be very difficult. But if you actually figure this out, well, that is super impressive. But for most of us, we need to make this problem a lot easier. And the easiest way to make this a manageable problem for us to do in our brain is to fix this number right here. So we have 598, and you know what? We wanted a reasonable estimate. Now, what number is this pretty close to? Well, if you said 600, I would say that is uh, absolutely correct. So 598, so, and so instead of doing this problem using 598, let's just round up to 600. That's gonna make things much easier. So the new equivalent problem will be one third percent of 600. All right, now if you were thinking in this term, or these terms right here, to do this uh, you know, problem using mental math, and you're like, all right, I'm gonna uh, round this 598 to 600, that is fantastic. So now what we have to talk about is the strategies to find the percent of a number uh, just using our brain. Okay, so how would we do this? Well, the easiest way to do this is just to kind of review basic percent, and you wanna um, kind of uh, review how to find a percent of a number where you know the answer. Okay, so let's just uh, talk about how to find 1% of a number. Okay, now you can use 1% or you can use 10%, but you want a nice uh, kind of a rule of thumb. And 1% um, of 100 is what? Okay, well, hopefully all of you are saying, well, that would just be one, right? So if we had 100 pennies and I wanted 1% of 100 pennies, it would be one penny. Now, by definition, percent is... Uh, let me just go ahead and write this right here. 1% is equal to 1 over 100. So percent, by definition, is when we compare a number to 100. In other words, where 100 is the denominator. So that's what percent is. Now, knowing that, let's talk about what 1% of 200 is. Okay. So what is 1% of 200? Well, hopefully you said 2. So that's going to be two over two hundred, or two over two hundred. I'm not going to write two out of two hundred, right? So two out of two hundred is one percent. Now, why is that? Well, we we can reduce this fraction right here, and now we have what one over one hundred. So one 
uh, is being compared to 100, so this is 1%. All right, so what is 1% of 300? Well, we're just going to follow the pattern. It is 3, right? And I think most people know this, but if you can do this or kind of review this little mental math trick right here when it comes to percent, well, then we can figure out the answer to our problem pretty easily. And uh, let's go ahead and just talk about what 1% of 600 is because this is the question or this is the number that we're going to be using in our question. Now, the actual question here is one third uh, percent of 600. But before we do that, let's just make sure we understand what 1% of 600 is. And if you said six, you would be absolutely correct. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and take the next step and figure out what one third percent of 600 is. Now that we know that 1% of 600 is six. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this problem up. Now that we know that 1% of 600 is six, and of course we, uh, we went through and reviewed how to do that, the question is what? Well, what is one third percent of 600? So we have 1% and we want one third percent. So how can I go from a 1% to a one third percent? Well, just take that one and divide it by three. Okay, so if I take the one and divide it by three, I end up with one third. So if I know that 1% of 600 is six, but I want one third percent, well, I'm gonna divide by three. So over here, I'm going to divide our answer for 1% of 600 is six. I'm gonna divide this by three because I only want a third of that percent. So six divided by three, of course, is our answer two. All right, now this is the easiest way, in my opinion, to do this problem using mental math. Uh, but uh, if you used another technique, that's perfectly fine, especially if you understand you know, exactly what you're doing and you find it easy and you got a good answer. But uh, for some of you out there, you might be thinking, you know, I need to kind of brush up on a lot of these math skills. I forgot how to find a percent of a number or whatever the case might be. If you want to uh, kind of check out my full instructional courses, I'm going to leave links to all those in the description. But for those of you that are not math students, I'm going to give you two recommendations right now. My Math Foundations course or my Math Skills Rebuilder course. Those two courses are designed for people that are not math students but want to kind of relearn math. But if you're in a particular math course like pre-algebra, algebra 1, algebra 2, whatever the case might be, you'll find links to those this uh Links to those courses in the description as well. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.